Finding signs of life on other planets beyond the Earth would be a way of answering the biggest questions that we've had as a species so far. Where do we come from? Are we alone? But of course, these questions are not the exclusive purview of scientists. People have been asking them for as long as there's any record of them being able to ask these questions. What is special about this moment and our role in it as scientists is that for the first time, we're actually able, because we have the tools, to answer these questions. So a group of scientists led by uh, Jane Greaves from the University of Cardiff were looking for signs, for chemical signs, on Venus that shouldn't belong there. And one of such molecules is phosphine. And they, unexpectedly, they actually were able to find a signal that, that belongs to this molecule. So then we raced to, to figure out what could be the reason for phosphine on Venus. And this is where our MIT team comes, when we actually looked at all kinds of processes, chemical and physical, that could potentially produce phosphine in Venusian environments. The surface of the planet is completely, completely uninhabited. The atmosphere is the only place in which, in which life actually could exist. There is a belt of clouds. In the and we concluded that there is no known chemical and physical process that could conceivably produce phosphine. So this adds to the mystery of Venus. And then this opens a very uh, rather bold uh, possibility that there might be something living in the clouds of Venus. Phosphine is my favorite molecule. Um, it looks more or less like this, a phosphorus atom on top and three hydrogens in the base of this pyramid. And phosphine is an extremely difficult molecule to make. It is only spontaneously ma made in extreme environments such as what you find in the hellish depths of Jupiter and Saturn. It is otherwise only made either naturally by life on Earth or artificially by humans as a fumigant, for example. So the question is why it is actually a staggering a discovery, why it is so important. Well, there are a couple of angles that you can actually answer that question with. One, the first, is that phosphine is absolutely unexpected and cannot be produced on a rocky planet. At least we don't know of any known processes, chemical or physical, that can produce phosphine. Which means either our understanding of the physics and chemistry of the, of the rocky planet is severely incomplete. Or there is some chemistry that is so unbelievably weird that it could even be life. If we have indeed found life outside the Earth, it puts our own existence into perspective. But it also tells us that life may be much more common than we first imagined and there's a huge array of possibilities out there in the galaxy of life with different biochemistries and desires. And of course, if we have found life right next door and our planetary neighbor, that would be so cool.